Skills. Let's dirty man. A sweet power slide. <laughs> <laughs>
if the pan fills up. It's just a safety switch to keep the water from overflowing onto the floor. They broke red. I like to break red myself. Now you could break yellow. Some people break yellow, which will shut the condenser off outside and will keep the inside fan running. <clears throat> I like to think about the next guy though. You know, the next guy comes along and he's like, well, the fan inside's running. Must be, the problem must be on the, on the condenser. So he goes outside and fumbles around there for a while and then finds out, hey, maybe it's the float switch. Everything looked good on the condenser. So I like to think about the next guy and break red, just shut everything down. That's, that's what I like to do. So we'll just undo the wires. That's it, it's just two wires. Our float switch is now disconnected. Pull our wires through. That's it. This one's still good, but I'm not going to use it anymore. I'm going to go with the clip on. We've been up here, up here multiple times dealing with it. And the pan won't even be, uh, won't even be full. It's crazy, man. So this is my idea. This is what I'm going with. I'll just cut this here. And take that out, twist it out, and I'll put this cap in here. Three quarter inch cap. I'll go Mike Holmes on its butt too, son. Teflon, pipe dope. That's what I'm gonna start calling, going above and beyond. Going Mike Holmes. water in there man see that water dripping flipping pans not even full man crazy oh I'm so glad you got to see what I was talking about look at that pan wasn't even full man <clears throat> got to be because it was une it's just uneven somehow water's going forward and getting down in there from that pan that's my hypothesis anyway all right we'll twist this out I got something for us, but you don't want to act right, I'll cut you. All right, now I'll just Teflon this, pipe dope it, screw it up in there. All right, now I got my cap Teflon. 
I'm gonna go I'm gonna put some dope on it. Go Mike Holmes on his butt. Could you imagine going behind Mike Holmes? Like, you know, twenty years later or whenever you wanted to renovate again and he's out of business or retired. Could you imagine? I mean he glues the wood and then screws it. He he's a gluer and a screwer. I love the show, man. I love Mike Combs. But I'd hate to go behind him. For y'all don't if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, there's this guy on the you know, he's on the HGTV and the DIY channel. That's where my TV stays, man. My TV stays on those channels and the history channel. But this guy goes above and beyond, man. He'll put some liquid nails on a 2x4 or some power grab. And then slap it on the wall and then screw it to it, man. Things going nowhere. I was watching one time he was putting in a toilet. And the toilet tank bolts, he put caulk. He put a big old gooper of caulk on the bottom of the gasket. The toilet tank bolt gasket. I said, wow. Going Mike Holmes on some stuff, man. I'm going to glue it, and I'm going to screw it, and I'm going to Teflon it, and I'm going to dope it. That way I know I'm not coming back. Alright, I'm not going to film all this. You get the point. I'm just going to screw this in tight. Give it the old water test, make sure it don't leak, and then install my float switch. I won't bore you with the with the wrenching. Bust open the old new one. Yeah, this is it. It's just two wires again. I'll have to clip that. It came stapled in there. I'll clip it off a little bit and strip it. Well, this is it. Just clip it on to the drain pan, and if the, the line gets clogged up, you know the water will rise. Boom. I mean, just it just has to come up just a skeeter leg, and it'll break that 24 volt connection and shut it down. And that's when the resident calls you and says my AC's not working, and you come suck out the line and re-engage the flood switch and back in business. All right, dudes, got it clipped on. That's it right there. I mean, it's easy. You just bloom, just clip it on the pan. You got to put a little man in it. You know, it's got a little thing in there to make it where it won't pop up easy. But you just push real hard and clip it on. That's it. So you know, when the if the, if the drain line clogs up, the water rises, water rises, water rising. Boom. Pushes that up, shuts the 24 volts off, shuts the system down. That's it. I took a sticky piece of uh, Armor Flex tape just to get those wires out of the way. Ran it behind the filter rail here, my wires, and we'll wire it up. Wire them up to the reds. I like to break reds. I'm always thinking about the next guy. You break yellow, hmm. I'm not gonna say shame on you, but man, that's annoying. All right, yep, that's it. Just make sure the filter slots in good too, because you have to readjust. This filter's a little banged up. I need to go get a new one, but this is I'm just testing with this one. Goes all the way down. Yep. Yeah, we're good. It'll work. Just grab a wire from your float switch. It doesn't matter which wire. Just as long as you're connecting it to red. and tight, yep. Connect the other wire to the other red. All 
Nice and tight, we're good. Alright, that's it dudes. Float switch to red, float switch to red. That's all I know to do guys, you know. I don't know why these things keep filling up the, the float switches. I, my hypothesis is that it's off balance. I don't claim to know everything, so this is what I'm going with. I'm just going to clip on a float switch and do away with it, man. I mean, the pan wasn't even full, and you saw water bailing out of that float switch pipe. And we suck out the line, and it's, you know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's open. It's clear. Really clear. It doesn't, you can't hear any obstruction in it when you're sucking it out. So that's my, my idea, man. I think it's just off balance. Water runs down the back of the pan or just swishes in there, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird style, into the hole. It's a, just a problem out here. It's not just this unit, it's multiple. So that's what I'm going to start doing, just clipping on a float switch and doing away with that other garbage. All right, I'm going to button it back up and test it out. I'm going to get a new filter too. I'll put them on a little drain tab in here, keep it clean. All right, dudes, it's buttoned up. It's cooling, it's back up and running. As you can see the filter, the float switch didn't uh, inhibit the filter in any way. That was my only concern, so we're good there. This is my only second best idea I had, guys, you know, about having to take the whole flipping thing out and redoing it and leveling it. And you know, we've done the whole wood behind there trying to bring it out and level it. I mean, it helps a little bit, but it's so weird, man. The pan will be slap empty, so it's draining. We know it's draining because there's nothing in the pan, and the float switch will be full, and the unit will be off. So that's what I went with, man. The old clip-on float switch. I think it'll do. Thank y'all for watching the Dirty Maintenance Show. Yeah.